We spent a little time on the custom line today. Gonna to pop the hood off, see if we can get the flathead running. We'll see what happens. So Hoopy's been working on it already. He's got the air cleaner pulled off, hood pulled off, and we're going to um, put a starter on it because it needs a starter. And then we're gonna try and put some fuel to it, see if we got some spark, and see if this old V8 cranks up. underneath here and it's a bit she's a bit crusty we got a uh, chicken wire here and uh, chicken wire chicken bondo. wire bondo yep so if anybody thought we were cutting up a good car um, it's it's not it looks better on the outside but that doesn't matter because all of this is disappearing but we are under here because, well, there's something missing here. Oh, and we have no exhaust, so that'll be pleasant. All right, so we got the starter in and we got it wired up according to fire order for a flathead V8 from 52. Uh, we're gonna throw a coil wire on it. We're just gonna take this old uh, six volt uh, battery charger and let it power the coil, uh, but we're gonna run 12 volt through the starter because we're just gonna see if this thing starts. That's all, and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna put this coil wire on and we're gonna check for spark. No, no. And then uh, we're gonna see if it'll fire. They might just fire when we check for spark. Get power to it. Do you file the points at all? No, I haven't touched the points. All right, so what I'm doing right now 
is just putting a little emery paper on the uh, points. Uh, the thing I forget is there's a lot of people out there that don't understand the way points work because it's just such old technology compared to what we're dealing with today. So if you have a car with points, you probably already know how it works, but sometimes when you get an old one like this, just put a little emery cloth between the points and clean it up and it might get you where you need to be. We're gonna find out real quick. All right, so the wire coming from the coil up through the base of the distributor was shorting out. Well, that's um, not factory. No, that's not. The insulation is gone, so we're just gonna do a cheater wire to get us to where we wanna be. Again, this motor is not going was, to be used. There was no way that was gonna work. No, no. It, it was just grounding it itself was, out. Yeah, it was bolted straight to the bottom of the distributor. Yeah, so it was just grounding itself out. So we're going to put a wire in there or we'll attach a wire to that and run and it. Let's just run a wire from here and drop it down to that hole. Yeah, that'll work. All right, we'll do it. Yeah, that was never gonna work. Never. So we had to replace that wire. We are going to see if we've got any pulse in there. There we go. Hey, bingo. All right. Now let's see if we got. Right, hold power off. Yeah. And see if we got spark. Which we have to put this back on. I'm gonna wire brush this plug. Oh, it's quite rusty. It's not, it's not great, but it's there. Let's we'll see what happens. The ignition here. I'll do this. That's already on. Okay. okay. And you do that by pulling the plug out, sticking your finger over the spark plug hole and cranking the engine over with the distributor cap off. And you look where compression happens um, in relation to where the distributor is rotating, if you can kind of understand what we mean. Not very tight. Okay, so that's off. So one was right here. One is on this side of the clip. So there's the clip, there's one. So yeah, one would be about... About where that screw head about is. About where that screw head is, or a little bit over. Yeah, probably about where that screw head is. No, oh, we are 180 out. Well, let's keep going. We are 180 out. So let's do that. Let's just wire it that way. Yeah. That's why it's pop, pop bang. Yeah. All right, so basically we're 180 degrees out, which means we're gonna just change the firing order on the cap. Uh, just easy to do real quick. What's that for? That's, that's for demonstration. <laughs> All right, so if you look here, that clip right there was on the top. We discovered it's 180 out, so we're gonna just flip this whole thing over, but we're still running the same firing order. So it's gonna be one, five, four, eight, six, three, seven, two. So the next one we're gonna throw on there is gonna be, it's still gonna be five. And we just put one here, so five's gonna be here because this is the rotation right there. Which way's the rotation? <laughs> I wasn't making anything. This way? <laughs> this, this way, yeah. Set, go. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> 
last fuel up and okay. let off the accelerator and just see if it's in line. Is it? That's all we have. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So we know we're uh, now. Now we know that we got fuel air spark timing. We're working the way we should. Let's do a jerry can for this. I don't have much fuel in here at all. Crazy. That is awesome. Crazy. How long has it been sitting? That's awesome. Alright, so uh, basically Caleb and I got this thing, uh, we didn't know what we were dealing with as far as the uh, condition of the engine. Uh, we drug it home as you can see in Caleb's video. Uh, basically knew that it turned over, that was all we knew. Yep. And we were told that it was rebuilt and basically did uh, made sure that it had well, fire. Yeah, we had to put the starter back on because yeah, it right. was off for some reason. Not. Still not sure why the starter was off, but yeah, it works. Works well enough to start it. Uh, had to sand the points, uh, rewire the distributor because going through the base of the distributor it was yep. shorting out. Uh, what else did we do? And then had to change the change up the firing order because um, that's right. The distributor was apparently in wrong. It was 180 out. So uh, added fuel to it. Uh, you guys heard it run. It sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Uh, other than that, now because we're doing a Crown Vic swap, all of the drivetrain on this car will come out. It will be sold off for something else, or we'll use it for one of our future projects. Uh, and then the Crown Vic comes in underneath it, and we'll have a, a decent uh, driver uh, with all modern components underneath, but the beauty of a 52 custom line on the top side. Yep. So, uh, like, subscribe, check out Gears and Arms with Caleb. Uh, I'm Hoopy's Hot Rod, which is what you're watching. And we are uncle and nephew, and we're just trying to make things run and have fun in the process. Peace out. <laughs>